it's important to play something. If it's a competition and you want to impress, which obviously you do, then you choose something A that you can play, but which tests you just a little bit. It's nice to be just taking a little bit beyond what you yourself think you can do. That's very important. It's Otherwise you become complacent. If you're being tested, just a fraction, you know, you think, ooh, okay, I, yeah, I can, I can do that. You know, that's, that's, that's the edge you should go to. But also the other thing is don't pick something boring. It's really important to pick a piece that I'm going to want to sit up and listen to. If somebody has um, sourced the music for you, sometimes they're coming from a point of experience that they might really know what will work. And There's so much more access now to unusual pieces, so, so there is a chance to sort of branch out. But don't forget all the really loved pieces as well, because the... I suppose you could say they're part of the repertoire for a reason. People who are really wanting to win, they look for the repertoire that's going to be winning repertoire because a piece can be a winning piece. A piece can win it for you. You've got to be able to play it. But there are some really fine pieces out there that can really showcase um, the performers and showcase the whole chamber music aspect. So. You see with some of the, in the national finals, I mean, some stunning pieces emerge. And that, that really show off the players to their best advantage. Uh, the one thing I would say to any performer anywhere is don't play music you don't like. Don't ever do that. You know, pick music that you really, really love. And the other thing is, I think especially for younger musicians, is pick music that you can play well. Don't overreach. I think it's a really important thing. And by play well, I'm, I don't mean technically, I mean music that you can absorb so that it, when you actually perform it, it comes from inside you. It's not just you're getting it right, it's something more than that. And you have to pick the music, and I mean that then goes a step further to you have to pick the people to play with that are on the same wavelength with you.